the state of Israel finally has a new minister, a minister of strategy. In a few days it will be officially announced, but on Monday the deal was made. It's a closure. The talks between Olmert and Lieberman began two and a half weeks ago and ended on Monday night in a meeting between the two. A coalition agreement was signed between Olmert and Lieberman. On Tuesday, a quick meeting was scheduled and then the Knesset will have to approve the coalition agreement, which was put on its table as required. From now on, M.K. Avigdor Lieberman will be also known as the minister in charge of Israel's policy regarding strategic threats. But the Labour Party insists on picking fights with him and ends up mostly fighting among itself one thing which it does best. M.K. Ophir Pines leads the aggressive line and says Lieberman as strategy minister is a strategic menace to the country. Pines and the majority of the Labour faction support quitting the coalition. Labour will probably meet in the next few days to decide where to go from here. Most likely the party will swallow its pride and do nothing. At the same time, M.K. Lieberman tries to keep his old friends in the right-wing parties. On Monday, he attended a meeting of the National Unity Mafdal, which were a part of his faction in his last tenure, but now they feel betrayed and turn their backs on him. On Monday, the Knesset rejected a motion of no confidence made by the opposition. Members of Israel Beitenu abstained. Starting next week, they will stand by the coalition as 11 loyal and disciplined votes. After all, this was the Prime Minister's strategy as he led them in the government in the first place.